Hi, I'm Nikki and I'm here to talk to you about securing urethral catheters to patients. So before we start, obviously we make sure the patient's comfortable, we've explained the procedure to the patient beforehand and we maintain patient privacy and dignity at all times. So the stabilisation device I'm using, good tip is always to um, put the catheter in here before applying it to the patient. Um, and I'll explain the reason for that. So if you look at the device, there's a, an arrow there which basically points to the patient. So you insert the catheter. Okay, you can see that that sits snugly in there and then locks into place. So there's no movement there and the catheter sat smugly, securely in the device. I'm going to prepare the skin, so this is a good opportunity to have a good look at the skin, have a good visual. If the patient has any hairs, hairs there, it might be useful just to remove those, just so you get a better securement and it's a lot more, it's kinder for the patient when removing removing the um, device. So we're going to let that dry. The reason why we put it on top of the leg and not on the inner is because there's a risk of this causing pressure damage if the patient's legs were to come, to come together. And likewise, on the outer side, as patients are positioned over on this side, there's a risk of this um, causing, causing damage. Okay, so that's dry now. So. We're going to pop this on top of the leg and all it is is a piece of big sticky tape really. So we peel on back there. The key is to keep a kink in place. Keep a kink of the catheter. So you haven't got that tug on the catheter that will cause damage to the urethra. There's a section here where you can put the date on that the device was applied and these can stay in place for several days unless obviously it becomes soiled or, or comes away. You can use it on alternate, alternative legs as well. And this has got a, a spinning function so it's not set in place so it um, allows the patient movement, um, allows them to mobilise, it keeps the catheter stable but just give that bit of flexibility as well. So before removing the device it needs to be released and this can be quite fiddly but you press in and pull back at the same time and it opens. Release the catheter and that's to stop any trauma when you're pulling at the, um, at the, at the device um, as you remove it from the patient. It's recommended you use um, five to six um, alcohol wipes to remove it, and it does say on the sticker, remove with alcohol. But obviously, as is the case, it's, it's, patient, depend it's patient dependent how many you use. Um, and the aim is to not cause any trauma, any discomfort to the patient. Again, do a visual check of the, of the leg, have a look at the skin um, and hopefully no damage will have been caused there.